Hey babes, it's Kit and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. So, today, we're not doing any makeup. Well, technically, I'm doing makeup, but off camera. But, what we're gonna be doing today is I asked my Instagram to send me some emojis so that I could try and recreate looks using those emojis as a base. So, today, we're gonna have a little lookbook recreating emojis, okay? So, without further ado, I think we should get into this video. Hey babies, it's Hey babies. Okay, so this first outfit was inspired by a frozen emoji and a cloud emoji. Jamie suggested it. So to begin, this is the outfit. The silver helps add on with the frozen. The blue represents the frozen emoji and the white for clouds. So for this look to come together, I had to combine a top from El Babe. This is a new site, me and my mom has been trying for up last year. And the quality won't say is the best, but the styles come out really good. I use this skirt from Pretty Little Thing. If I could find the link, I would put the link for these things in the description. So kind of like a peplum skirt, so I use these two along with jewelry from Pretty Little Thing, a store in Simmons and called Beauty Shack, and this belt, yes it's a belt, hence the string in the back, and this belt from Primark. So with that we put together an outfit out of two emojis, so let's try the next one. So I'm going to get dressed, so no peeking. Bye bye. Okay guys, so this is the outfit, the next outfit, inspired by the emojis. This was inspired by two persons emojis. So first one is Simone, and she had the purple devil the black hat and the chains. So for the chains, I decided to incorporate the fishnet stockings and along with her, I decided to incorporate Poppin Dolls 100 because they suggested a black hat, a black chest and a pen. So with that, I decided to incorporate a dress that was penciled but I felt like a queen because we're playing chess and I'm the queen, right? I feel powerful in this outfit, I don't know, like... For the underneath piece, it's basically a uh, stockings from the fashion spot that I got with rhinestones on it. And I cut the neck, cut off the sock part basically, threw it over this and it became an underneath top. For the dress, however, I got it from Fashion Nova. Fits really well. It comes with a split, but the split have frills along it. I love how this fits. And then finally, we have our choker hair. I forgot where I got this from. But we have this choker hair. We have the same earrings from before. And no hair accessories. So this is the final look. It's more so gothic, but I like it in a sense. The dress itself makes me feel like a rock star, princess, warrior, queen, something, right? So let's move on to the next emojis. Okay, so this is the next emoji. So Arena, I hope I pronounced that right. Arena suggested the pink sparkly hat emoji with a rainbow. And I thought, why not? I mean, 
It matches it. I feel very rainbowy and very pink. So this outfit I got from I Rock Partial. The pants, however, I got from my exercise wear from Pretty Little Thing. It's cute, isn't it? It matches the pink perfectly. So I was like, oh, age appropriate. The details of the top, the material. And then the last piece I added was this cute, colorful headband that matches the top. Well, that matches the outfit. I decided that it would match the exercise tights underneath and bring another look to it. So let's get into the next outfit. So this is the next outfit. Kitty Cat on Instagram suggested this fit for me based on an airplane. And I thought it was like, how do I not look like? Like a airline hostess, but more like an airplane. So I got my wings. But I feel like a billionaire. Especially with the pearls added on. Baby, it's the bad for me. It's the bad for me. So the top hair is from Fashion Nova. It came with a set that I have with the pants. And the jacket, I actually don't know where I got it from. But the jacket I decided were perfect for the wings of the plane and it came together nice. The skirt now I got from Forever 21. And it just ties together the look all white everything. Never mind the whites are different colours. Still look nice. And then the jewellery I stole from my mom covered. So the pearls, I don't own pearls for myself, but she does. So I decided, oh, this is perfect for this look. I don't know why, but I thought of this outfit as a rich billionaire. So, I mean, probably because of the plane, private jet, you know, could pass. But, yeah. I like this vibe. I think this is my favorite outfit so far. So let's get into the next outfit. I think that this is cute. And this is the final outfit. This final outfit was inspired by cow underscore cow dot x underscore and uh, it's inspired by the elf emoji like the Zelda looking emoji. I decided to just accessorize with earrings and uh, do it up, doll it up. Forest green, that's cute. The dress currently is from Fashion Nova and it fits very snugly. Oh my gosh, it is suffocating me. It zips all the way down, that's why it fits you perfectly. And the earrings as well are taken from Fashion Nova. Just mean it's my mom's earrings, so I took it from her cupboard again. that's no problem because the outfit came out cute so I think that's the end of this video um, it's just a sort of lookbook sort of challenge for me I think that we could continue doing this as of the series a mini series on my channel where I try to recreate looks based on emojis that you guys suggest this was very challenging I'm not gonna lie for you I started like after 11 it is now minutes to four so imagine and I just did five looks so every time we would do five looks and every time the persons who inspire these looks would be shouted out so look out for the names right over here thank you guys for participating so much don't forget next time I ask you this question on my Instagram which you could go follow right here it could be your chance to get a shout out and your Instagram is right here. So without further ado, I think that you should follow me on my Instagram, follow me on my TikTok. You would see these looks on my TikTok. Um, I tried some transition looks. Yeah, I tried. Don't be brutal. And you could subscribe to my channel. Before you go, I have an announcement. Not only am I going to be giving you shout outs when we do this video, I am deciding that I would like to shout out 
the first person to comment on each of my YouTube videos. So, if you want a shout out, be sure to turn on those post notifications so that you will know when I post and you could be the first person to comment and get a shout out in the next video. From my Get Ready With Me high school experience Q&A, the first person to ever get a shout out in 2021 would be Tabby Goldilocks. Thank you for having your post notifications on. Don't forget next time this could be you. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Until next time. Bye. Out of my mind, I'm still too young.